Howdy y'all! Welcome back to my Mystery Dungeon Randomizer series, and I actually have it recording audio properly this time. I don't know what happened with last time. For some reason, okay, I think what happened is that Streamlabs updated, and the update kind of messed with audio settings a lot. Uh, but you know what? It, it's handled now. I, I, am, I, I think I have it mostly figured out. I think I have it kind of balanced the way that I want it to be. So, uh, yeah, it's just kind of our responsibility to to find a blue gummy at this point in time. So I'm, I'm looking at rewards here, and it's entirely possible I might be able to get uh, a blue gummy from one of these missions. And if so, that's the one we're going for. But none of these have a blue gummy specified, unfortunately. Well, I know Alex said earlier that I should probably go to the Essential Wasteland, which I know he only said that because that's the, the randomizer's replacement for Craggy Coast. Uh, which Craggy Coast normally has a lot of, um, a lot of blue gummies. But the items in this game are completely randomized, so I have no clue what items I'm gonna find here. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I got a new microphone. Uh, I, I flaunted it off in my, uh, Spelunky livestream VOD the other day, which was pretty hype. And, uh, you know what? It, it's sounding better now that I've actually figured out how to properly balance it. I don't know if I'm truly happy with it yet, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Hello, Wigglytuff. Goodbye, Wigglytuff. <laughs> I think probably the most terrifying part about this is that, like, do, because of how the randomizer works, it's entirely possible this dungeon just won't be able to generate blue gummies at all. And I don't know how to feel about that. What? A Dodrio used my Reviver Seed? Fuck you! Ooh, technically I might be able to- oh no, never mind. Not this one. Ah, oh, and all my exploring for a blue gummy, we found a monster house. I mean, it's a decent monster house so far. Not, not too good, not too bad. All these Pokemon are pretty low level too, like, so... I don't need to care too much about them. Easy peasy. All right, so no blue gummies from that Kecleon store, unfortunately. Also, I see you seeing that purple gummy, and it's like, oh, that's a wonder gummy. Nope, it's a wander gummy. I'm not picking that up. It's not worth it. I know my lookalikes. Ooh, a Duskull. Sure, I'll take a Duskull. <gasps> Dialga! Hello? I, I got distracted by a text on my phone, and we just walked right into Dialga. Holy shit. I wish I can get rid of my map so you could just see it in its full glory. <laughs> Goodbye, Dialga. I think that means we just won the game. Again. I'll be honest, probably my biggest fear after stepping on that Pokemon trap uh, is that we'll get to the Blue Gummy and we'll step on another Pokemon trap like that and then lose the Blue Gummy right there in front of our eyes. That sounds terrifying to think about. Okay, I think that's everything on this floor, so let's move on. I think we got missions on 7 and 8. Yeah, we got missions on 7 and 8. Here we are. Hello, Birdie. Goodbye, Birdie. This room has a lot of items. Ooh, golden gummy. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. All right, floor eight also has a mission. Wow, our our mission objectives just keep spawning right next to us. That's amazing. Awesome. And I think that was our last mission here, but we still want to keep looking for the blue gummy. So we'll stick around for a bit. I hate floors. They're just a collection of like tiny rooms collected by two giant hallways. Cause like you just poke your head in and then you have to leave because there's nothing there. Yeah, that's every room on this floor. Uh, running out of floors here. Oh my god. You're kidding me, right? A monster house, sure. And looking at the map, it looks like it's a monster house that doesn't have any items. Which is so incredibly frustrating. Because if it doesn't have any items, that means there's not a blue gummy. That's unfortunate. Ah. Uh, oh well. Got a yellow gummy from the reward. I'll take a yellow gummy, but that's not blue. Okay, so we still don't have a blue gummy. Or maybe the shops have them. We got clear gray, orange, and pink, but no blue. There's a chance that one of these... Like, if I do the recycling tickets, they might be able to give me a blue gummy. Like, it's a small chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Scanner orb. I think gummies are usually failure rewards, so if I get a win, it's probably not a gummy. Yeah, safeguard. Sleep talk. Price. I got another prize ticket, sure. Heal seed. Oh, we got a big loss. Unfortunate. 
<laughs> I like the animations of my teammates being surprised by that. But Rainy Orb is the consolation prize. Escape Orb. Safeguard. Oh, we got a big win! Hey, we get to watch this animation again. Except, no, I really don't want to watch this animation again. I'll put it in purely because I know it makes you all happy. But, like... <laughs> I, I think the convenience of having seen this has worn off for me. Overheat, yeah, that's not even that helpful anyway. Stealth Rock. And I'm, that was the last prize ticket, unfortunate. Well, I mean, the Essential Wasteland was pretty easy, and I, I don't know if it has any higher or lower odds than the other dungeons, but if it normally has a higher odd of having blue, blue Gummy, there's a chance it might still anyway. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep grinding it out until something happens. Hey, another monster house. Watch how quick we take care of this one. Okay, perhaps not as quick as I thought I would. Why did it miss everyone? Holy cow. Jesus Christ, that's missing so many people. Oh cool, now that my entire team's here, now it finally actually starts hitting the Pokemon. Whatever, there's Dialga again. You know, it's not as entertaining this time around. It was very, very surprising the first time. Oh, cool! Thank you! Love that! That's just the spice of life I needed. Still no blue gummies. This looks like a monster house, if I've ever seen one. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Okay, good news is, if it's a monster house, there's a high chance of it having an item. Because monster houses have a lot of items, usually. Alright, let's see what all these items are. Got some spikes and fangs and stuff. We got a pure seed. I'll take a pure seed. Ah, uh, okay, so no... I level up. That's cool. While I was talking, thank you for interrupting me with a level up. More items on this side, though. That's good to know. Okay, let's take a peek. Rare fossils. Love that. No. Come on, one of these has to be a blue gummy, right? No. Nope. Okay, so there aren't any blue gummies anywhere here. Not on this floor, at least. That's frustrating. I might have to try a different dungeon next time, because I'm not having good luck with... I haven't even seen... Honestly, I haven't seen that very many gummies at all, regardless of color. All right, if I remember, this one's a, a monster house, right? It actually has items this time. It has two items this time. What are the odds of one of them actually being a blue gummy? I'd be very surprised. That's, it's better than not having any items in this dungeon at all. But, you know, whatever. Check out this one. Nope. Okay, whatever. That's not a gummy. Okay. Is this other item down here a gummy? Please say yes. I'd be very... Oh! Pincer. Nope. Okay. Well, no gummies. That's so unfortunate. I'm so... Ugh. All right. Maybe. Maybe Kecleon selling the blue gummy. No, we got silver gummy. Ugh. I mean, at least the essential wasteland is easy. I'm not really, like, accomplishing any goals here, but they say insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. And boy, howdy. Lord knows with Craggy Coast, you normally you would do this multiple times just to get a blue blue gummy so i hate rooms like this that like it's got so many different rooms and all of them could have a uh, different items it's like a the, the layout's like a spider and i hate it <laughs> yes oh my goodness we found a blue gummy boys hell yeah well as long as we don't faint uh we won't lose that blue gummy which means i don't really need to do much more searching all right now that we have a blue gummy i'm just gonna schmoof through every level because whoo now that was a load off my chest. Ah, <sighs> even though I found my blue gummy, I'm not gonna be free from monster houses, apparently. That said, it's a monster house that Discharge actually works in? Whoa! Stop using electric-type moves on the Pokemon that heals from electric-type moves! God damn it, Alex! Alex, what the fuck?! That was an intelligence test on Alex's part. No, I don't think he passed. There's another Dialga. They're getting less and less impressive the more I visit this uh, this level. And here's the one-room monster house again. Uh, I don't have discharge this time, so I might just move to the exit. I don't think I can just move to the exit. 
without my partners dying. And you know what? If Dusk, if Dusk and Sable I die, I'm okay with that. Well, bye bye, Sable Eye. <laughs> that would have been really unfortunate if I stepped on that warp trap. I'm glad I did not get warped as a result. Oh, we have our blue gummy! Yay! I refuse to allow this entire episode to be dedicated to just hunting for that one blue gummy, so we're gonna do something else. But let's get that gummy to uh, Kingler as soon as we can. Here we are. <laughs> would you like to give a blue gummy to Kingler? Yes, yes I would. Seth gave a blue gummy to Kingler. What? <laughs> Go on, eat it, it's a blue gummy. Gummy? <laughs> oh, it, it likes it. Huzzah! Whew. He ate the gummy. Aww, look at how cute that is. He likes me. Huzzah! Maybe it's because I'm also blue like a gummy. I don't know how to feel about that. Awesome, we're going to be taking care of Kingler, and uh, Monferno's not sure if that's a good idea. This child is a Pokemon that normally would grow in the sea. His environment is obviously unlike the sea. And to add to that, we know next to nothing about Kingler. Who knows what could happen? Hmm. But it wouldn't be safe to just return the little guy to the sea. Let's look after the little guy until he gets a little bigger. Please? Hmm. We'll look after him properly, we promise. Fine, if you insist. You have nothing to worry about. You can count on us. Right, Seth? Awesome. So we have, we are holding... We're taking care of the Kingler for a little bit. This is our house. Which begs the question, what the fuck was Monferno doing with Kingler for like the three days we were gone? I'm actually really curious about that. It's like, uh, what are we supposed to do now? Gummy, gummy! Oh, okay. You want another blue gummy? Uh, we have to find another. Shit! <laughs> and let me guess. Is, are there, is there a blue gummy in the Kecleon Mart? No. Oh, yes, there is, actually. I was so I was preparing for that to be. I'm actually surprised there is one. Okay. Well, that was infinitely easier than the first one. There you go. <laughs> See, another blue gummy for Kingler. Tasty? That's right. Tasty. Tasty. Gummy tasty. <laughs> Little guy's gonna grow up in no time at this pace. Huh? Something wrong? <laughs> I'm with you. Hundred percent agree. Aww, the little guy ate his fill, now he needs to sleep it off. Let's be quiet and let him sleep. Sleep tight, Kingler. <gasps> oh, Kingler's up before us. Good morning, Seth. Hi! Good morning, Kingler. Morning, Seth and Alex. Whoa, little guy called us by name. That's awesome, Kingler. Awesome! Welcome, Seth. What should we do with him today? Eating and sleeping all the time doesn't sound healthy enough. <laughs> I know. Let's take the little guy for a walk on the beach. Walk? I like that. Let's let's go for. Oh, <laughs> yay! King was follow. I, I like the little side crab hustle. Like he stares at us anytime we walk left. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, here we are down at the beach. Come on, Kingler, over here. Kingler's gonna see all the crabby blowing bubbles and stuff. Be like, I know this. <laughs> Kingler, this is the sea. Sea, sea. That's right. Sea. Yes. That's where you came from. See, see. Alex. Seth. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's such a cute little dance. See, see. <laughs> Kingler's really happy. It's really great. It's great that we brought him down to the beach. See, see. I, this, this little dude loves the beach. Oh my goodness, I love that. And so, Kingler, Seth, and Alex played until sunset. That night. Oh, what's Kingler gonna do? Hmm. The next morning. Oh no. Oh no. Good morning, Seth. Good morning, ma- Kingler? Oh no, Seth! Kingler! Kingler's missing! Ah! What? What should we do? Where could he have gone? But let's go look for Kingler. I have a hypothesis. That'd be really funny if it was if the Treasure Town music was replaced with like really intense music, like Palkia's Onslaught or something like that. <gasps> oh, ah, Team Stargazers! 
I was just on my way to see how Kingler is doing. I trust Kingler is doing well. Th there's trouble. It's Kingler. Kingler disappeared. <gasps> what? What? Didn't I tell you to take care, proper care of that baby? Didn't I? So I'll look too. Kingler's still a toddler. That baby couldn't have gotten far. I'll look through the guild. You two search outside. We already know where Kingler is. I'm calling it. He's at the beach. Yep. Huff, huff. Hey, Kingler. Oh my goodness, Kingler. Kingler, you had us worried. Why do you come here by yourself? Hey, Kingler. Uh, Kingler? What's the matter? Oh, Kingler! Trouble, Seth. He's running a high fever. Kingler. Hang on, Kingler. We should take him to Monferno. Monferno probably knows this shit. Come on. What should we do? Oh, there's Monferno, finally. You found Kingler. We didn't even tell Monferno. Whatever. Kingler is... Kingler is... Oh, he's... My goodness, he's running a frightful fever. We know. We found him standing by the beach, then he toppled over. His illness must be caused by being in the wrong environment. Just as I thought, Kingler's a Pokemon that needs to grow in the sea. Our environment is entirely unlike being in the sea. That's why this infant is ill. So it's our fault that Kingler is... Hmm. Well, as things stand, remorse and regret won't help now. We need to focus solely on curing Kingler's illness. How do we go about curing him? Here's something I've heard. According to Pokemon living in the sea, it seems that there's a cure-all item known as the Wurmple-Doo. <laughs> Wurmple is just the, the, the solution to everything in this randomizer, isn't it? <laughs> Wurmple-Doo. So that's what we need. Hey, Monferno, can you tell us where we can find Wurmple-Doo? There are Pokemon called Wurmple that drift along the sea. <laughs> oh my goodness, why is Wurmple so prevalent in this randomizer? I don't understand. Okay, I, we're going to the Evil Crossword to find more Wurmple. We already have a Wurmple on our team. I mean, can we just find, we just get the Wurmple on our team? All right, I said that I'm not just gonna have it be a, a hunt for, uh, what's it called? A hunt for the blue gummy this episode. So we're going to the Evil Crossroad and uh, we're gonna include some of that in this episode as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, appropriate first enemy to see for Evil Crossroad. Hey, we got a Wismer on the team. Sure thing. Got another pure seed, but this one's sticky, so we can't use it yet. Oh, this looks like a monster house. I'm calling it now. Yep, it's a monster house. I think this should be a fairly easy one for discharge to take care of. <gasps> Shuckle! Hey! I just realized I said no. Alex leveled up. Nice, nice. Hype for that. Oh. Duskull also leveled up. That's cool, I guess. I don't really care too much about the this Tetriary characters. Is it Tetriary or Tertiary? I don't remember what the proper term for that is. And goddammit, because it's one of those, like, two room... Two rooms connected by a hallway, like, floors. This hallway is going to be chock full of Pokemon. Uh, level 51! Holy shit! Okay, that's a very helpful love disc. All right, we're here. We're out. Goddamn, this love disc is pulling his weight. I see Reggie Rock over there. I don't know if I want to encounter Reggie Rock right now. Ooh, a life seed. That could be helpful when it gets unsticky. Oh! Okay, uh. Duskull just got fucked over. That's fine. Oh, it's another one of those maze rooms. Ugh, I hate these. Ah, another monster house. And there are two lanterns, which means I can't. Or I can use discharge, but it just. It won't hurt them. Oh, three lanterns. My bad. Ah, fuck it. Let's just get through. I don't need to fight them. I can just move. Hey, oh, that's a sky gummy. It's not a blue gummy. Speaking of sky, Articuno, howdy. Pleasure to have you here. <gasps> Articuno wants to join the team. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I will happily take Articuno. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize you could recruit Articuno just casually in dungeons. That's awesome. That is actually amazing. And he knows agility? Oh boy. This is going to be one really helpful Articuno. I'm, t I'm calling it now. Ah, another monster house. So why not? Wow, one shot everyone. That's pretty, okay, that's pretty cool. And a joy seed. Ooh, it's sticky, but I'll take it. Well, actually, Blizzard. Do I have enough money for Blizzard? I do not, but I could. Uh, 
acquire enough money for Blizzard. Depends what I can get rid of. That should be enough to justify being able to buy Blizzard. So he's gonna he's gonna pay me six fifty, and then I should be able to afford the nine thousand. There it is. Yeah, I I know Blizzard. Blizzard might probably be bet more useful than Spark at this point in time, because having a, another room clearing move that isn't affected by Lightning Rod would be really helpful. It'd be less effective than Discharge because of Stab, but you know what? It's still going to be useful in the long run anyway. Plus, I could, in theory, you know, pair it up with Discharge, and that way just take out entire rooms in one shot, because the Blizzard will just wipe out whatever Discharge doesn't. Also, I just realized we can all walk through water. That's pretty hype. God, I love this music. This song specifically is just, it slaps so hard. And I, I know I can say that because I know it's recording the music this time around. Huzzah! Oh, Lugia! Hello! Okay, I was for a second I was scared that I was going to be able to recruit Lugia as well. And if I was able to recruit both Lugia and Articuno, I would have cried. Hot damn. This, this Articuno is pulling their weight. Woo! Can we get this, uh... There it is, that's what I was hoping for. Really wanting the cast form to get stuck in that little nook. Oh! Okay. Here, let me grow up, come up and grab these uh, glasses before I go down the hidden stairs. Wait, hold on. Did we... Where did the glasses go? Oh, did the cast form pick them up? Okay, let me, let me check something real quick. Oh, cast form picked up gaggle specs, but they're not goggle specs, so they're not helpful for me at all. So I don't need them. That's fine. I am at the Secret Bazaar, though, and that's pretty hype. Howdy, howdy. Uh, I don't think there's anything I need here. Yeah, I'm good. Ah, uh, Warp Trap. Okay, that's fine. Alex is also taking a Warp Trap. Uh, it doesn't look like Alex went anywhere with the, the stairs. That's fine. We'll, we'll find out. Oh, Alex did come here with the stairs. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, Love Disk is getting ganged up on. No! There we go. Okay, Love Disc is still alive. I'm happy to hear that. And that was it. Okay, we're at the halfway mark. Now, I could stop right now, but I'm not going to. How long have I been recording? I've been recording for an hour and a half, and I'm not stopping yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, we are in a maze room, which is kind of unfortunate. But it's a maze room that has the stairs, like, right here, basically. So... Yeah, let's just get through. I don't care. So I was coming through trying to find my rare fossils, and I realized we have a lot of different seeds that are really, really helpful right now. Look, we've got three pure seeds. We got a life seed. We got a joy seed. I'm going to take... I'm going to give Alex the joy seed because he's level 77 and I'm level 78. So now we're both level 78. And then I'm going to give myself the life seed because I like being alive. And fuck it, doe seed too. Why not? Because money is good. Oh, we don't need to care about that goddamn Umbreon. He's stuck back there. Love Disc might also be stuck back there. What the fuck? Come here, Love Disc. Thank you. I leveled up from Love Disc just taking on opponent off screen. Wow, love that. <gasps> this is why I bring all the keys. I think I have a key, right? I should still have a key. Yeah, I've got two keys. Heck yeah. Yay! The closed corridor is open. I got a light box. That was not worth the key. That was very not worth the key. Alex, stop getting stuck in the goddamn door! What the fuck? Alex keeps getting stuck in the cage. That's like gay baby jail for him. Ugh. Come on, Alex. This way, please. Thank you. You don't need to use agility. There's, It's asleep. The Pokemon is asleep. It's not a threat to us. Oh, okay. That was it. We're at the gigantic glade. Look at all these Wurple! Ah! I love them! Tee hee 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 hee! Glee! <laughs> oh! That's the big Wurple! Ah! They're all scared of the Squirtle! <laughs> you're the you're the Wurmple, right? You make the cure-all. Uh, Wurmple-doo? 
Well, rejoice. From now on, you all answer to me. All Wurmple do belongs to me from now on. <laughs> oh? Now, who might you be? Oh, you look like you have a bone to pick with me. Why, yes. Yes, I do. I'm a million years too early to fight with you. You regret not running away. These jokes do not land when you're a Squirtle trying to attack Wurmple, of all things. <laughs> Literally, okay. Here's what I do. I hit Discharge. It lands. And then I hit Spark. It lands. And just... I just continue doing Spark. Because the Squirtle can't do shit against me. Like, what, what what's Squirtle gonna do here? Exactly. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you, you better die. Ugh. Don't... Don't you ever forget this! It just walks off, really. That was so funny. That was so funny. Oh my goodness. Very good, very good. Star, thank you. Oh? Yay, it's a wormple do. <laughs> that was so... <laughs> ah, yes, we obtained wormple do. Quick, give it to Kingler. Okay. Here, take this, Kingler. It's wormple do. Er... <sighs> Thanks, Seth. Alex. Whew, I'm my glad. It seems to be working. You should be fine. Give it two or three days of rest. That's great. Am I ever glad? Yeah, we had to fight a Squirtle for that. Like, come on. Whew. Uh, imagine. That would have been a lot of work for nothing. Haha, <laughs> 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 the little guy's good as ever. Good ever. Am I glad to see this? Seth, Alex. Yes, we know. Kingler needs to develop the ability to survive in the sea. Well, Seth, let's take Kingler to the sea. What? What? The Guildmaster and I decided to invite Seviper from the Northern Sea. Why Seviper? Why would Seviper be ideal? I don't... Okay, whatever. I... I've heard all I need to hear from your spirit tomb. You have my word. I'll take full responsibility for raising Kingler. I don't know who this Seviper is. Why would the survive? Oh. oh no. Oh no, you're gonna make me cry. Again? <laughs> Go strong and healthy in the sea. Huh? As you get older, don't forget us. Mm -hmm. Alex? Seth? Prolonging this would only make it worse. Surviper, please. Aye. We're going, Kingler. Ornate tra <laughs> What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, of all the things I was expecting him to say, that was not one of them. What the fuck was that supposed to mean? Ornate track? <laughs> Goodbye, Seth and Alex! Ah! We're, we're sad. Our Kingler's all grown up. The next morning. <sighs> Good morning, Seth. Man, it's gonna feel weird without Kingler. But this is for the best. Yeah, you're right. We did the only right thing for Kingler. I think Survivor will raise him properly. And maybe, maybe one day we'll be able to see Kingler again. <laughs> Dang. Oh, Seth. We shouldn't go around feeling sorry and sad forever. I know Kingler would want that. But I can't get back to feeling like it's normal right away. So, I think we should be positive and keep moving forward. Okay? Yeah, at least he didn't die or get erased from existence like I did. <sighs> you know what, I think I'm going to save and call that that for the rest of the episode. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you joining here. Uh, I've been recording for two hours almost. I have no clue how I'm going to edit this down into a regular video. But thank you and have a fantastic rest of the day.